The Biggest Blunder in Jaclyn Hill's Career Jaclyn Hill announced that she was starting another brand, and everyone knew that it would cause controversy. Jaclyn's presence in social media has always been wrapped up in the drama, and it looked like her new brand was no exception. There had been no news about Jaclyn in recent months, and everyone assumed she was staying out of the spotlight because she was working on something. Fans believed that she was busy with her makeup line, Jaclyn Cosmetics. Jaclyn was planning all around to expand her business by creating a new line of loungewear and comfort clothing called Cozy. On the brand's website, it said, Meet Cozy, the comfort collection created by beauty mogul and entrepreneur Jaclyn Hill. Cozy was founded on the mission Be Kind to You as a reminder to practice self-love. Created to look great on everyone, the Cozy brand uniquely embodies the feeling of being surrounded by warmth and love. Jacqueline revealed her new collection on YouTube. She was thrilled and excited to share with all her fans her new brand. She unboxed her items and it was clear as day that Jacqueline was overjoyed for coming up with something that not many people expected from her. However, instead of applause and cheers, she was faced with criticism from fans who believed that the prices were too high. Some examples of the prices include $30 for a pair of slippers, $24 for a single pair of socks, and $140 for a blanket. Some fans think the collection is overpriced. One buyer commented and said, For this amount, I would rather go to Nordstrom and get the soft Ugg blanket or Barefoot Dreams. At least their brands we're familiar with and know about. When you check out its website, the items are definitely steep, and by the looks of it, they are basic items that you would normally find at any department store. There was nothing unique and special about the items. Judging by the quality, the internet was divided. One person gave an honest review of Cozy's Wrap Me Up robe. She said that the robe was worth every penny, writing, This robe looks very similar to the Barefoot Dreams robe, and you would be correct, it does. The robes are also comparable in terms of warmth, almost too much. However, having lived in my Barefoot Dreams robe for the past year, I have to be honest, Hill's robe is even softer. The fuzzy material is almost buttery, and while oversized, the robe isn't very heavy. I put it on first thing in the morning, and I've been wearing it every night over my shoulders set with a big mug of tea in hand. I'm not exaggerating when I say this robe is worth every penny. However, one Reddit user was not too happy that she spent so much money on things that she could get on Amazon for a lesser price. Socks. I like the length and thickness of them. They're not exceptionally soft. The price is crazy. I bought a six-pack of similar socks for $15 on Amazon. Slippers. They run small. They feel well-made. Lots of cushions. Again, I can find the same thing on Amazon for less. Blanket, beyond disappointed with this. The size is great and it's soft, but it's so thin and delicate. It has this weird netting thing inside which actually takes away from the softness. It feels weird. The blanket smells awful, most likely from the way it was packaged, but I'm terrified to wash it. It honestly feels so cheap, and for the price? I have a blanket I bought at TJ Maxx for $27.99, and it's amazing. It's thick and soft and way better quality. The high prices were not the only issue that Jacqueline was facing with her new brand. Many people have pointed out that the name of the brand is very similar to the name of another creator's brand called Things Co's, owned by Kaylin Nicholson. People were accusing Jacqueline of copying the name. Even though both Cozy are pronounced differently, they both start with the letter K and are spelled the same way, which could cause confusion among consumers. If the two brands sold different types of products or if they operated in different spaces, it would not be as big of an issue. But since they both sell similar items such as loungewear and both creators own their own brands, it could be confusing. Many people believe that Jaclyn Hill's brand would dominate Kaylin's brand. Jacqueline has a large following, so many people would likely associate the name Cozy with her brand. This could potentially cause a negative impact on Kaylin's sales as Jacqueline's brand would appear in search results before Kaylin's. Also, Coz is not only a clothing line for Kaylin, it's her entire brand. She has multiple streams of businesses, including her podcast, yoga, and more, all under the brand Cozy. Fans found it hilarious when Jacqueline talked about how difficult it was for her to choose a brand name. She said that she had checked so many names and even made up names that would somehow epitomize her goal as Cozy's owner. She said, My new brand is called Cozy. You have no idea how hard it was to name this brand. We probably went through 50 names. Everything was taken. Everything was trademarked. Oh my gosh. We even came up with words, like created words that isn't even a real word. And they were still taken and still trademarked. I was like, are you kidding me? Like everything's been thought of. It was not easy. If Jacqueline really did her research, she must have stumbled upon Kaylin's brand. Their brands have the same spelling, so it was a no-brainer that when she checked it, she would somehow know that it was taken. 
In her video, fans were commenting that Jacqueline stole someone's brand name and was criticized harshly for doing so. One comment read, I will never associate Cozy with anyone but Kaylin. You really could have picked anything else. Another person left a comment saying, Jacqueline, I love you girl, but Kaylin Nicholson has had a brand name Coz for years. The situation was all wrong and shocking as taking a brand name from another creator is unacceptable and is synonymous with stealing. Fans have suggested that Kaylin should take legal action against Jacqueline but she decided not to pursue that route. She posted a video titled Saying Goodbye to Coz, in which she narrated how she started the brand, how she found out that her brand was stolen, and her decision to close it. She also mentioned that she contacted the brand owner but never disclosed Jacqueline's name. So, I started All Things Coz back in 2017. It originally started as a shop, and I had hoodies, I also had kind of dress wear, I had mugs, I had a couple of different things and I was just shipping it all. I was buying it in bulk and shipping it to my apartment in Toronto and then shipping it myself out to customers. And even then I was overwhelmed by the support that I had. Coz started out as a shop, but also a publishing house that I was publishing my books under. So I published my ebook Feels under it. I published Catcher under, I self-published, but I self-published through my business. So there was Coz Publishing and there was the Coz Shop. It grew into a Coz blog. It grew into a different YouTube channel. And unknowingly, I think what Coz became for me was this separate entity that I was able to grow online that was different from me sharing my personal life and was able for me to create this comforting atmosphere online, have a little shop, have a little side business that wasn't so directly tied to myself and to my personal life sharing vlogs. Coz was more than just a shop for Kaylin, it was a major part of her various businesses and projects under the Coz brand, making the loss of it a significant blow to her. For Jacqueline's Cozy, it was something that she ended up moving on from, but for Kaylin, it was something more. She had worked so hard for the brand to be successful, yet someone just easily took it from her because she was not as famous. Kaylin went on to mention that starting a clothing business came with many associated costs, such as incorporating the business and paying for lawyers, as well as many upfront expenses. She also admitted that she was inexperienced in protecting herself in business at the time and did not trademark her company. Trademarking is something that I originally didn't do. I was very naive in the business world. Incorporating in Canada definitely gave me some protection, but not enough protection. And it's no excuse, but I naively thought that nobody would, in the same realm that I would care about, come up with the same thing. Kaylin shared that around July, she began receiving messages and was tagged in a post from an Instagram account with a similar name to hers. The account already had a few hundred followers, and it dawned on her that it was likely to be a business run by an influencer. The Instagram account had only one post, and Kaylin commented by introducing herself and letting whoever was running the account know that she had a brand with a similar name, All Things Coz. She knew that she did not create the Coz aesthetic, but she just informed them about her brand. She wasn't sure yet what Jacqueline's Cozy would be, but she suggested that perhaps they could find another name for the brand. Kaylin also mentioned that when searching for Coz, her brand and website would typically appear first, and that with the rapid growth of the influencer's brand, Brand, her own would likely be pushed down and overshadowed by Jacqueline's. She acknowledged comments from fans who said there were already many businesses named Coz, but Kaylin said that this situation was different in terms of the following and online content creation, which were very similar to her own. Kaylin said that what upset her the most was that instead of the other creator attempting to communicate with her and find the solution, they responded to her by posting a photo with a cozy name with a TM symbol in bold. Kaylin thought that this was wrong since Jacqueline had not trademarked her brand yet. Kaylin's lawyers were urging her that she could still fight for her brand and that she had a better chance of winning in any legal action. She started the process of trademarking her brand. She checked several times to see if Jacqueline had trademarked her brand, but there was none. Kaylin assumed that they were waiting for their launch date to file for a trademark. However, the biggest letdown was the amount Kaylin had to pay for the process. Her lawyers estimated it would be around $95,000 and probably more since she's Canadian. So she decided not to pursue filing for a trademark and would just focus on rebranding and making her brand even better. She knew that fighting for her brand would only lead to drama and stress and she didn't want any of it. I mean, I lose following through the rebrand and even if there's work that ends up being kind of, you know, lost in, in letting go of Coz, 
I do think that I actually may have needed this push. You know, I wouldn't have come to this if this didn't happen. So I'm not saying thank you by any means, definitely not. But I will give credit to the experience, not the brand or the person, the experience. Kaylin's video was filled with words of admiration and support from all her fans. One fan wrote, Kaylin, you're a class act. I hope you know how proud of you we all are. You've grown through so much change, always doing the work and constantly keeping true to who you are and while keeping your morals at the forefront, forever in your corner, onwards and upwards. Another comment read, your brand is so much more than a name. It's a community. It's a family. It's a way of life. It's love. I've been a silent viewer for years of you both, and the way you handle this is a class act. I'm sad to see Coes go, but I have peace in knowing nothing about it's going away. Just the name. It's good to know that people still support Kaylin even if she chooses to close Coes and rebrand it. However, everyone agreed that what Jacqueline did was just wrong. Yes, they both worked hard for their respective brands, but Jacqueline should have known better than to steal someone else's fruit of their labor. What do you think of the drama that Jacqueline is involved in again? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Stay tuned for more interesting videos. Are you not entertained? If you are, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel.